the bills passed by the Lok Sabha and pending in the Rajya Sabha laps with the dissolution of the House of the People. They have to be reintroduced in Lok Sabha and the entire process has to be gone through afresh. This means a lot of delay. Can we make any change in this regard? So just for suggestion. The House of Parliament seems to lose a lot of time in disruptive expression of adversary position. Can we change this approach and improve the quality of debates and make decision making a little quicker than now? Third, quite a few bills are pending in Rajya Sabha for decades without required consideration. Should we continue them or treat them as laps? Let me elaborate on each one of them and suggest we collectively think, we collectively only think of feasible solutions to each one of them. Dissolution of Lok Sabha and lapsing of bills in Rajya Sabha. Under the provisions of the Article 107 of the Constitution, bills passed by the Lok Sabha during the course of its five-year term and pending in Rajya Sabha get lapsed with the dissolution of the House of the People. Accordingly, 22 bills passed by the 16th Lok Sabha and were pending in the upper house got lapsed. In effect, Lok Sabha has to take up these 22 bills again for consideration passing. I am afraid it would take a minimum of two sessions for doing so. And this means that the efforts of Lok Sabha passing these 22 bills have been rendered waste. The bills that got lapsed in Rajya Sabha were important from the socio-economic transformation of our country. The lapsed bill includes the land acquisition bill passed by Lok Sabha, factories amendment bill passed by Lok Sabha, motor vehicles amendment bill, consumer protection bill, arbitration consideration bill, companies amendment bill, banning of unregulated deposit scheme bill, and then Aadhaar and other laws amendment bill, triple talaq bill, trafficking of persons prevention, protection and rehabilitation bill, the citizens amendment bill 2019, and also some, some more. As all of you would appreciate, it takes considerable time and energy to get a bill passed in either house of the parliament. Given the implication of the functioning of the parliament, the impact of the bills getting lapsed on the much desired information, transformation of our country, there is a need to rethink the provisions regarding lapsing of the bills on the upper house of the parliament. I suggest a wider debate on the matter of automatic lapsing of the bill in Rajya Sabha. I am only giving a suggestion. Pendence of the bills in Rajya Sabha. At the end of the last and the 248th session of the Rajya Sabha, a total of 55 bills were pending consideration in this August House. After lapsing of the 22 bills that were referred to earlier, the pendence of this House now stands at 33 bills. Three bills are pending for more than 20 years. Six bills are pending 10 to 20 years. 14 bills are pending between 5 to 10 years. 10 bills are pending in less than 5 years. The oldest pending bill, the Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill 1987, has been pending for more than 32, 32 years. This is certainly not a happy situation. These pending bills include the Constitution 79th Amendment Bill 92, Provisions of the Municipalities Extension Scheduled Area Amendment Bill 2001, the Seeds Bill 2004, the Pesticide Amendment Bill 2011, the Mines Amendment Bill 2011, the Interstate Migration Migrant Workman Amendment Bill 2011, in the, the Indecent Representation of Women Prohibition Amendment Bill 2012, the Building and Other Construction Workers Related Amendment Bill 2013, the Work Properties Eviction of Unauthorized Occupants Bill 2014, etc. and some more. As this title suggests, all these long pending bills related to important issues that merit timely consideration and passing. Such long pendency does not reflect well on the functioning of the parliament. In order to streamline the process, I suggest that if a bill is not taken up for consideration and passing in Rajya Sabha within five years of introduction of such bills, such pending bills should be treated as deemed to have been lapsed. Let us have a wider debate in this regard before we come to any conclusion.